Earth's geomagnetic field reconstructed from points in history thousands of years ago. Wait till you hear this. In our research, we reconstructed the magnetic field of the Earth, which was, was recorded in 21 destruction layers in 17 archaeological sites throughout Israel. And we used these changes as a dating tool. This way we could check biblical narratives regarding the Egyptian, Aramean, Assyrian, and Babylonian military campaigns to Israel and check whether the biblical narratives are true or not according to the magnetic field recorded in every one of these destruction layers. A team of researchers from Tel Aviv University have published findings to the American journal Proceeding of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA that they state they can now confirm biblical accounts of the Egyptian war against Israel based on a new archeological approach based on reconstructing the Earth's geomagnetic field from points in history thousands of years ago. Wait till you hear this. Our Earth was a different place in very ancient times before the re-emergence of our kind after the Squatterman storms that lasted thousands of years. In fact, it was so different from the today and now that we in the today and now struggle to understand the mythological and biblical documentations that were documenting the history of these times. Now, experts have reconstructed the ancient geomagnetic fields in the remains of ancient towns in Israel that were destroyed by fire. The data has enabled researchers to link archaeological context with specific military campaigns recorded in biblical accounts. By sampling ancient dried mud brick that were destroyed in the fires, they were able to realign the brick's original position and therefore verify the direction and intensity of the ancient geomagnetic field. But how is this even possible, we hear you ask? The wonders of technology, guys. Who thinks up this stuff? The key lies in the fact that many archaeological materials, such as clay objects, contain what are known as ferromagnetic minerals, such as magnetite. On the atomic level, imagine the magnetic signal of these minerals as a tiny needle on a compass. And as long as the needle is free to move, it will prefer to align with the magnetic field around it. Similarly, the magnetic signal of ferromagnetic minerals can also sometimes change its direction. So, these minerals are magnified to the magnetic field and point to where it was. Since they were burned, the direction is locked for all time. It's a recording of sorts. Measuring the recorded signal in a sample enables reconstruction of the direction and intensity of the ancient geomagnetic field. So what? we hear you say, but get this. Looking at how similar or different the intensity and direction of the magnetic fields were between various sites can either corroborate or disprove hypothesis suggesting that they were burned during the same military campaign. The Egyptian pharaoh Shoshuk led a campaign according to the Old Testament and from an inscription on a wall of the Temple of Amon in Karnak, Egypt. However, to date, no destruction layer is securely attributed to this campaign. Many scholars think that Shoshank did not destroy any sites, and some even claim the campaign never occurred. In the case of the site of Beth Sheehan, the researchers showed that it was destroyed much earlier than has usually been suggested. Researchers raised the possibility that Beth Sheehan and the nearby site of Rehov, with the same magnetic signal, were destroyed during the military campaign of the Egyptian pharaoh Shoshank. Shoshank's campaign is described in the Hebrew Bible and in an inscription on a wall in the temple of Amon in Karnak, Egypt, which mentions Beth Sheehan and Rehov as two of his conquest. If they were indeed destroyed during this campaign, it is a very important find since no other destruction layers are securely attributed to this campaign. For the first time ever, the biblical account of an ancient Egyptian military campaign against Israel has been verified using this new archaeological approach based on reconstructing the Earth's geomagnetic field from points in history thousands of years ago. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you.
for watching.